So hey guys and welcome to another Retro Games for Cheaters with me, Supernotice. Today we're playing this. This game. This game right here. This one. You can see it. It's called Zillion 2, the Triformation. Um, and it's a Sega developed game. <laughs> if you excuse me, I'll just clear my throat. It's a Sega developed game that came out in 1988. Uh, it's a bit of a side-scrolling shooter, but also a bit of a platformer, as you'll see. Uh, we're playing this with infinite health. As you can see, it's a fairly simplistic game. Not a lot going for it, to it. Because it's a Master System game and those tended to be a lot more basic than uh, some of the other games at the time. Well, not that some of the other games at the time, to be fair. At the time, most games were... Most games are... Uh, relatively tech-free, if you like. And that's not true at all, either. I don't know what I'm talking about. Very low-tech, very basic, shall we say. The thing to remember in this game is you need to jump over the gaps! Not like that, you see. You can drive over those things because of the cheat that I've got on. But, of course, normally, that would not be the case. And if you miss the platform completely, well, that's just another problem in itself. I should say, I have played through this just to make sure everything runs fairly smoothly, and it does. It's not a particularly lengthy game, as you might expect from games of that time. And I fell down the hole again. It's interesting, because I didn't fall down the hole anywhere near as many times as that before. We'll be back probably with a, a shorter adventure game tomorrow, because obviously I've done quite a few retro games recently. I can just ignore these guys as well, if I want. You can go through this game and score nothing, you know, just ignore the guys. Well, until you get to the bosses. That could be interesting. See how easy it is to get through the game without killing anyone. Let's try that. From now. Obviously, we're going to kill those guys. Oh, yeah, no, let's try not to. Let's see. Can we do that? Can we complete this game without killing anyone from now onward? No, is the answer to that, because I landed on someone's head. Well, if I take a shot from him, then I go... Uh, ...translucent, which allows me to actually jump through... Oh, no. Oh no, not that. Not another hole to fall down. I've got to be careful there. Ah, oh, killed someone now. I don't think we're going to make it. This idea, to be honest. Yeah, we're just killing them anyway, so... Me as well, eh? Try and kill only the ones we have to. We didn't have to kill him. I'm just, I mean, this idea suddenly of not killing anyone came to me and it's clearly not really working out. But let's try it, see how much we can avoid it as something just of, of interest to do alongside. Alongside the cheats pretty hard because as soon as you start jumping platforms and hitting anything it's gonna cause you some problems as long as you can jump from one platform to the other so we'll not actively try and kill anything that's what we'll do we might accidentally kill things but we're not gonna actively try to Try not to actively. We might have to do that with these. No, we can just collect our friend and leave. If we want. You see, that's the danger of, of that though, is that there are areas there where 
You won't be able to jump because you've been stopped by somebody. Same there. Uh, we might have to shoot out anyone that's on a ledge in front of us. Just, you know, just to make sure that we uh, get past them. That one's okay. Oh, that was close. Just kill him because that might have been difficult. So we'll try and do it without killing anyone. It's going to be hard. And as, as I say, without killing anyone intentionally, except for the bosses, which you don't have any choice but to kill. Can't get through the level without killing these guys, unfortunately. So if we can try to... From when I decided to do that, <laughs> reduce the amount of people we kill to almost nothing. There is a, a special power that I've not been able to work out. You can actually change your bike into like a flying thing. Probably means I'm going to have a... Ah, just isn't working, is it? It's just as well, it's not a serious thing I'm doing, it's just a bit of extra extra challenge, extra fun. If I jump up here, I don't have to worry about any of the additional lower bits. If I go up down there, it just means I have to run across these things. But also, if we go on these, it actually saves us from some of the gaps that we might fall down. Ah, oh, see, because there are some here and there, although there's not as many on this level as there are on the others. It's pretty much a, an obvious pattern to it anyway, only I almost jumped the wrong way there. I almost jumped backwards, which wasn't such a great idea. That thing will just continue to attack us eventually. Doesn't matter though. Can't hurt me. Obviously if they started hurting us then we might have had a problem, but seriously we can get through this without oh, that was too slow. So let him shoot at us, don't worry too much about it. I could have probably travelled underneath that thing that was jumping just to get away from it. Ah Remember, as I say, it's just not trying to intentionally get anyone. There we go, we're out of this level. We may still kill people, but not intentionally. At least that's the plan. Mm, see, we've got to be careful there. At the edges of gaps, if we've got too many enemies around, we'll take the chance to get rid of them. We've got two enemies there that just did us in. Now I can go. Missed me. And he did too. Up we go. There could be a few deaths as well because we're doing this. Okay, luckily... Oh, see, you got to be careful. <laughs> and that's the biggest problem with doing this. I think I need to wait until they finish taking their shots. Because if I don't, that's what happens. Okay, that one's okay. No, I'm going to have to shoot those guys. No choice, I'm afraid. Although even if it's just one of them, maybe that'll work. Yeah, that works. We take one of them down and don't mess around like that. I, I don't I don't think this level's gonna make it easy for us. I'm gonna have to do these ones, I'm afraid. And try not to get hit by anything else. Those little flying things are a nightmare. Uh, 
I'm just gonna have to do this. But in fact, just the flying guys are the only ones we really need to worry too much about. There we go. Okay. Not really working out in this level, is it? <laughs> you know, trying not to kill anything. Well, we made it just to the edge. That's all we really needed. Right, no, we can't. We can't make it through this level, I don't think, without killing anyone. At least not that set. Mm, no, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to fight these guys, I think, because we're just not gonna get past this level if we don't. Even then, I should have waited for him to come back down. Now this section of this level at least, we'll try and do the next section without killing anybody as well. Unless the next section is the bosses or something, in which it might be. There we go. I didn't want to do that, but I had no choice. Right, let's try not to kill these guys. All we need to do is rescue that person and get out of here. There we go. Get the flying guys because they're a pain. Okay, we're not gonna fall off this platform. Oh good, there's an elevator, so let's leave them alone. And here we go. Let that thing fly past. Okay. Yeah, we don't need to shoot anyone here, because look, straight down. That one's done. Ooh, that was close. That's the end of the level, so... We don't have to shoot anyone there, but we do have to shoot this guy because we don't have a choice in that matter. Because without sh shooting him, we won't get past the level. I do realise that probably means my score will be ridiculously low. Maybe we could see if we can get the lowest score possible. I don't think we can, because I'm sure you could probably... There we go. Now that I'm in this flying thing, I don't have to worry about any of the enemies. I can should be able to fly past all of them. Let's try it. I can even just do that. Just stay in the one place. Not much, not much playing going on if I do that, though, is there? It's just me moving around. So why not? I mean, just trying to avoid everything is the uh, the order of the day here, isn't it? Missed me, and again. <laughs> it's an evasion run through. It's an evasion playthrough. Couldn't do anything about that guy being there. Oh. The good news is the map stops. It doesn't just give you like a game over, you know, death because you ran into the wall. If it did, we'd be taking forever to do this mission. As it is, we're doing okay. I say doing okay, we're not doing anything. So, you know, there's that to think about, but yeah. I wish there weren't so many things flying at me. As it turns out, I mean, on these sections, you can probably get away with uh, not killing anything. On the platforming sections, it's not so easy. But still, let's see what we can do. There was, when I was doing this level, there was a gap in one of those turret things on the floor that was not noticeable. I fell down it and lost a life. In this case, all I have to do is stay, up, stay above or below his shots. And then he flies through us. We can't do much about that. Evaded that one. Obviously, we couldn't do this if um, if I didn't have infinite health. 
If I had it without in, without infinite health, it would just take forever. Right, we've got another platforming section. Let's see how we get on. Now, these bits might be difficult. No, not so far. Oh, I just ran right off the edge because I didn't, couldn't jump. That one's okay. And that one's okay. That platform, some of these platforms I've noticed there's like a, there's like a wall that will stop you from doing anything. Like up there, that wall, you can run into that and that will cause a problem with your jumps. As it is, we didn't have to worry too much about that section. Or this section, to be honest, because we're just going straight past it. And back down. In fact, I wonder... Just check something up here. Oh no, there is nothing up here. Okay. See, that takes a couple of shots and then runs away, basically. Drops a couple of shots, jump. Not the end of the world. We can get past them easily enough. See, no problem. Easy. Up till this point. Might get a bit more difficult now. No, I was wrong. It will not. Okay, let's keep going. Continue trying not to kill anybody. Oh, I almost uh, missed that jump there. Or mistimed that jump there at least. That was close. See, it, the trouble is timing the jumps so that they're right when you're trying to avoid gunfire. It's another boss section. So obviously we have to fight this guy. Somehow I ended up facing the other way there. Don't know how that happened, but never mind. So, we're doing okay. If I can stay below 100,000 points, that would be pretty good. But I don't know how many points you get for killing the boss. It's only trouble. None, apparently. There we go. We can get into our little flight suit thing again and not worry about it. Let's do it. Oh, you got a lot of these things coming at you. Couldn't stop that one from getting hit. like just finding a kind of maze path to get through. You could probably do this, you know, if you were a bit better at the platforming than I am, you could probably do this without killing anyone. I think. Except the bosses, obviously, you wouldn't really have any choice but to kill the bosses. Uh, but I wonder, the main reason I want to do this is just to see, well, A, see if it's possible. Really. Because I noticed that the timing, the gaps between the enemies may, have, may give you an opportunity to completely avoid them. So let's try that. You know, that's what I thought. Let's give it a try. Some of these you can't really help but hit them, unfortunately. Unless you hang back. Hang back like that. And then they'll go away. And then continue on. Getting away from those little fantasy zone plane things, whatever they are, they're it's not so straightforward, but it's kind of what they remind me of. We've got a ring here of stuff that we cannot get away from. It's going to continue to go for us until it's destroyed. We could just destroy it, but that's gone now. Another one. In a snake pattern. It's not a problem. There we go. Uh, more guys shooting at us. Just hang back. Go forward. Hang back. Go forward. And that should give us what we need. Just in case of kind of rocking the directional pad forward and back. Just 
go forward to where they are and then hold back until they're gone. Of course, we are we are being shot the whole time. There's not much you can do about that. But if I can avoid all of the enemies, or most of the enemies, in terms of killing them, then that should work quite nicely. I'm sorry, our early stages we had to take some people out because jump timing just wasn't possible it seemed like. Okay, we're on to round eight, another platforming section. If I remember rightly, a lot of this is just walking past these guys that go up and down. And they don't chase you, so just let them hit us. Not the end of the world. More right, we're okay. We're doing good, I hope. Nah, we're 91,000 points. I don't see much chance of me uh, doing this without breaking 100,000. But we'll see. Oh no, there's flying guys here, which is going to be a problem. Yeah, they get in the way, so we really need to take out the flying characters. That should make it easier now. There's another one, right? Just let them drop down rather not have done that. Wait, another one's coming? There we go. That one won't shoot us now because he's out of sight. Now there's the problem, which is when you've got two guys. It's okay when there's one. But when there's two, it's a bit of a problem. Shouldn't have done that. That was a mistake. The flying guys are awkward because they'll go right above where you're standing. Which causes a problem, obviously, because when you jump in the air, you're going to get killed by them. Not much you can do about that. Oh, go back up. Silly man. Another elevator right there. Takes us back down. Not in the same place, obviously. Okay. That was close. Right. I need to get them out of the... Off. I need to get them out of the shop, basically, before they'll stop shooting at me. Okay, there we go. Good. Right, we're escaped from them. And almost them. There we go. Made it. We're good. Crossed. Okay. So yeah, we're doing okay later on, it would appear. Uh, these guys have to die, though, because they fly right over your head. We don't really have any way to stop them from doing that. So just let them come, kill them, get rid of them. Now, this is a bit more difficult because there's two guys. As long as you can get over the top of their shots, it should be fine. And you know, if they turn their back, it's nice and easy. And here's another boss. If I remember rightly, I think this is the last boss, actually. Maybe we should try that a little bit more with some of these games as well, you know? Try not to kill anything with infinite lives. I mean, obviously, beat em ups and stuff like that, you don't really have any choice. You have to beat up so many enemies before you'll get past them. But, like, this kind of game, if it's just a platforming sort of game, we can probably try that. Even some uh, vertical and horizontal shooters just get to the boss. You know. But there we go, we finished the game. At last, after a fierce battle, JJ and his comrades managed to destroy the secret forces of the Noza, the fortress of the Noza forces. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's Zillion 2. The Triformation. 
And yeah, it's obviously um, a more basic sort of game, given that it's from the sort of Master System era, if you like. Uh, so not as much to it, not as much, what would we say, not as much substance, I guess. Uh, in spite of their highly successful mission, the enemy's invasions have been temporarily stopped. So they may be back at some point in the future. Although I think there were only two games in the series. So, uh, you know. <laughs> Uh, but there we go, that is Zillion, hope you enjoyed it, if you did, please feel free to hit that like button and maybe add a subscription too, and I'll see you all next time. Let's let this story finish playing out first, shall we? JJ and his friends will not be able to rest. But that's it. I hope. No. One more section. I should have waited to say goodbye until after this was done, shouldn't I? But there we go. That's the end. That's what you get. You get a little story and then it says, the end. Great, isn't it? Thanks very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.